Q Basic Programming Statements Introduction Q Basic is a programming language. In Q Basic, statements are used to write a program. A statement is a set of instructions written by using keywords of Q Basic. Keywords have specific meaning in the Q Basic programming. Every programming language uses keywords as a statement with certain syntax. Expression An expression is a valid combination of operators, constants and variables that can be evaluated to get a result. There can be numeric expressions or logical expressions in QBasic. QBasic, like all other languages, is set up using predefined statements. Some of the statements are let statement. Let statement assigns a value to a variable. You should assign the value of same type to the variable. For example, let salary percent is equal to 5900. This will assign the value 5900 to salary percentage. Let Average exclamation is equal to 954.56. This assigns the value 954.56 to average exclamation. Let name dollar is equal to computer lab in code. Assigns the value computer lab to name dollar. Print statement. Print statement displays the results on the screen at the current text cursor position. Print displays text within quotes directly or it can display the value of a variable like print the value of a is in quotes semicolon a percentage. Now, assuming the value of a is 50. This will show the output as the value of A is 50. The semicolon in the print statement indicates that the next time something is to be printed, it will be printed at the position of the last print output. That is, it will not change the line and will continue on the same line for printing output. Print command can be used in two ways. Print statement can print more than one item, separating them by spaces. This can be done by putting a comma in between two items. The syntax for this is print space variable 1, comma, variable 2, comma, variable 3 and so on till variable n, where variable 1, 2, 3 and so on are different variables. Let's write an example. Let A dollar is equal to elements in quotes. Let B dollar is equal to off in quotes. Let C dollar is equal to Q basic in quotes. Print space A dollar comma B dollar comma C dollar. End. You will observe that the values are printed by leaving blank spaces in between the values. Print statement will print the items continuously one after the other without any space if a semicolon is placed between them. The syntax is print space variable 1 semicolon variable 2 semicolon variable 3 and so on till variable n where variable 1, 2, 3 and so on are different variables. For example, if we write let A dollar is equal to elements in quotes, let B dollar is equal to off in quotes, let C dollar is equal to Q basic in quotes, print space A dollar semicolon B dollar semicolon C dollar end. You will observe that the values are printed without leaving any blank space in between the values. Input statement. 
Input statement is used to take input from the user during program execution. Input displays a prompt. This is the first argument and assigns what the user types from the keyboard into a variable. This is the second argument. The syntax is input message in quotes semicolon variable where message is the prompt for the user and variable is a variable for which input is required. Let's take an example. Input space A expecting a numeric value. Input space B dollar expecting a string value. For example, input space enter your name in quotes semicolon A dollar. Input enter your class in quotes semicolon B dollar. Input enter your roll number in quotes semicolon C. When the program is executed, it will give the prompt and will ask for the input. Enter your name. If you enter Aman, then it will give the next prompt. Enter your class. On entering 6, the next prompt is displayed. Enter your roll number. You can enter 16. While using input statement, you can enter more than one value separated by a comma to assign the values to more than one variable in a single line. If you do not give any message with the input statement, you will get only a question mark as prompt. If you want to print a message as a prompt, you must separate the message from the variable using a semicolon or a comma. Go to statement. Go to statement is used to create jumps in a program. The syntax of the go to statement is go to space line number where line number is the line number where we want to transfer the program control. For example, 10, let x is equal to 1. 20, print x equals. 30, print x. 40, let y is equal to x. 50, go to 10. In the above program, after executing statement 40, the program control moves to line number 50, where the program control is transferred to line number 10. That is, the program will execute for infinite number of times, as the program control will always be transferred to line number 10 when line number 50 is executed. The output will be non-terminating. Conditional statement. If, then, else. Conditional statement is an important statement of any programming language. The program control executes and checks if the given condition is true or false and accordingly takes the decision based on the checked result. Let us learn how to use the conditions in a program. In a flowchart, the decision box of flowchart is the conditional statement in the program. In QBasic, we have different statements as conditional statements. Syntax 1. If, condition, then, statement 1, end if. In the above statement, if the condition given with if is true, statement 1 will be executed. That is, the execution of statement 1 will depend on condition and will be executed only if the condition is true. If the condition is false, nothing will happen and program execution will continue in the normal way. Each if ends with end if. Syntax 2. If condition, then statement 1, else statement 2, end if. In the above statement, if the condition given with if is true, then statement 1 will be executed and if the condition is false, then statement 2 will be executed. That is, either of statement 1 or statement 2 will be executed. Each if ends with end if.
Let's write some example programs. Example 1. Write a program to input user's name and percentage and print pass if percentage is 40. So we will write this program. Input name semicolon A dollar. Input percentage colon B. If B is greater than or equal to 40, then print pass end. In the above program, if the percentage is greater than or equal to 40, pass will be printed, otherwise nothing will happen. There will be no output. Example 2. Write a program to input user's name and percentage and print pass if percentage is 40 or more, otherwise fail. So now the program will be input name semicolon a dollar input percentage semicolon b if b is greater than or equal to 40 then print pass else print fail end in the above program if the percentage is greater than or equal to 40 pass will be printed and if the percentage is less than 40 then fail will be printed else if condition in if structure. When there is more than one condition to be checked, you can use else if condition inside the if end if structure. The syntax for this is if condition 1, then statement 1. Else if condition 2, then statement 2. Else if condition 3, then statement 3. Else, alternative statement 4, end if. Here, if the first condition is true, then statement 1 will be executed. If condition 2 is true, then statement 2 will be executed. If condition 3 is true, then statement 3 will be executed. Otherwise, if all three conditions are false, statement 4 will be executed. For example, if A is equal to 1, then print 1. Else if A is equal to 2, then print 2. Else if A is equal to 3, then print 3. Else print wrong choice. End if. In this if, else if, end if, if the value of A is 1, 1 in words will be printed. If the value of A is 2, 2 will be printed and if the value of A is 3, 3 will be printed. If the value of A is any other value, wrong choice will be printed. Let us try one programming example. Ask user to input two integers and perform addition if the choice is 1, subtraction if choice is 2, and multiplication if choice is 3. Otherwise, it should print wrong choice. Let's see how this program will be written. In this program, the user will be asked to input two numbers, A and B, and choice. If the choice is 1, then it will print value after addition. If the choice is 2, then it will print the subtraction of two numbers. If the choice is 3, then it will print multiplication. Otherwise, if none of the above choices, then it will print wrong choice.